What was that? I don't know. That sounds like it came from the back. There you are, I'll check it out. Um Hello? <laughs> ah! Ugh! Let me kiss that rat. Got it. Thanks, Sonny. I told you to, to stop eating back here. Now I gotta get these rats out of here. Hey, Sonny, can you take the pizza boxes to the trash cans? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what the? Rats again? <sighs> Time to get you out of here. Uh, yeah, shoot, get out of here. Ha, there's one more rat. Ah! Oh, crap. Huh, nothing's in here. All right, now I can take out the trash. Huh. All right, time to head back inside. What the? I thought I put it up. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, no! Girls, groups of heroes, they're faster than us, stronger, smarter. The next generation of the human race is being a superhero. Am I still in the pizzeria? It looks old. Nineteen eighty seven? Did I time travel? Oh, huh, someone's calling. Well, that answers the first question. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle climb and to climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits available as both animatronic suits. So, please pay attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, injury, death, and irreparable grotesque meaning can occur. Okay, what should I do? What should I do first? Freddy? Chica? Bonnie? Foxy? I gotta survive from them? But they're my friends. Broken! Where does it go? Man, I haven't eaten hours. Maybe I can get some pizza. Probably just nothing. Friends, there's a security guard here. Could he be the person that killed us? I don't know that girl. I'm ready to try to get him stop him into an animatronic. Good plan. We'll get him. He's still not here. Ah! 
Whoa, Amy, calm down. What are you doing here late at night? I was looking around, looking for Dad, but he's not here. I know what to do. What are you doing? I'm going to head to the pizzeria. I'm going to find your father. Let me go with you. You can't come. It's too dangerous. You're just a kid. I know. But what if you're in danger too and you get lost? Hmm. Alright, let's go. Okay, stay close to me at all times. Okay. He's not in the oven. Why would you think he's in the oven? Not in here. Hey Mario, look at this box. Amy, no! Ah! All right, I'm halfway through the shift. What's my next assignment? Fix the animatronics? Okay. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, Wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. All done. Now let's see if it worked. Mateys, let's go on an adventure to find the missing treasure. Okay, he's all fixed up. Time for the rest. Let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. What the? A watch in a shoe? Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. 
Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity, and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Hello kids, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I hope you all have a good time. Okay, it got a bit creepy, but he works now. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job! Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done! Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job! To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done! You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Hmm. A button? Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. Hello, kids. I'm Bonnie the Bunny, and I play the guitar to make you kids happy. Okay, guitar works. Now it's time for the now it's time for the chicken. Well, I see some old pizza. That's probably where the smell is coming from. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Well done. Oh no! It looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job! Hello kids! Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. If you are hungry, have some of our fresh pizza. Okay, she's all good. Uh oh, I believe it's game over. Huh? And nothing.
What the? Oh, it's just my head. Ah! What the deuce? Ah! What is wrong with them? You killed We were so young. You made a mistake. Our now is paid back. We are coming to get you. You, you, you. You can run, but you can't. Ha ha ha. What do I do now? <laughs> huh? Mamma mia! We're just back here! But why does it look different? I don't know. Let's go! Mamma mia is dark. Let's go! Is that Freddy and his friends? Yeah, why are they here? They work at the pizza plex! Mario? Stay behind. Ugh, what happened? Golden Freddy? I am Golden Freddy, but I'm Cassidy. Cassidy? What happened to you? Purple guy? You know about him? Yeah, the Freddy in my world told me about him. He was one one who killed the children, but he was gone back in the 2010s in my world. He is the same one who killed us and put us in the animatronic suits. And he took out the guards and put them in the animatronic suits. And we were dumped in the garbage. Holy crap! We've been looking for that killer, but kept failing. It's no hope. We're never going to find the purple guy. <gasps> what is it? I know who the purple guy is. William Afton. The person behind the spring body? Yeah, we gotta warn your friends. You have to hurry! Someone is in trouble! <coughs> Mario? Amy? Let me go! Get off me! What the? Let it go! Put my friends. Down! Sonic! Dad! Sonic, what's going on? I'll explain later. Amy, I need you to draw something. What is it? Woo! Okay, listen to me. I need you to draw a picture of Purple Guy holding a knife and showing dead kids. What? Sonic, she doesn't know how to do it. That's why I need you to guide her while I extract him. Dad, no! Hey, you want me? No! We have to hurry. Come on! Ooh, oh. Guys, I'm not the killer. You were tricked. They can't hear you. 
William Afton. Hello, Hedgehog. Why, William? Why would you kill these kids? Because I was a sick freak in the head who began killing kids out of some delusional pettiness against Henry and the people of this town. You're a sick monster. Thanks. I am going to enjoy my time. Time to kill you. Hurry, Amy. We're really out of time. I'm almost done. Done. Good. Now let's go to the storage room. Oh no! He's down! What do we do? I don't know! We have to hurry! <laughs> oh! Ah! Cody Freddy! What is he doing? I don't know! Uh, let me go! Uh. Uh, uh. What? What are you doing? The hedgehog is not the purple guy. We were tricked. How dare you? <laughs> you made a big mistake taking our lives. You'll pay for this. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done. No, you fools! You can't stop me. There's my suit. <laughs> you can't stop me. I am protected! <laughs> Wait, William, take that suit off! It might. Problem, Cassidy. What should we do now? You should get out of the pizzeria. You should be free from here. I would like that, but it's our home. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You should find a new place and start a new pizzeria for a new for the kids to be happy. We're heading back home. Sonic for everything. Anytime. There y'all are. Bonnie, is that really you? Yeah, where were y'all last night? Tommy and Peach were worried about y'all. We've been to a different dimension. A different dimension? It's a long story. I'll explain after we get some sleep. Huh? Where did they go? Oh, shoot. I'm going to get fired for it. 